It's morning here anyway. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another vlog. Um, I haven't actually vlogged for ages actually, let's be honest. I haven't actually done just a sit down, like, not sit down, but like a chilled out style vlog in ages. Like I've been going shopping, I've been cleaning and doing all of that. But I haven't actually just chilled out on my channel for ages. So I thought we would do it today because I can't be bothered with going out today. I actually would love to go out actually. I really want to go shopping and I might later, I might go to the range. I've been wanting to go for ages and next week the kids are on half term so I'm not going to get to go then. So I really need to get to the range because there's a few bits I want to get for my front room. So I want to get that sorted a little bit before Christmas decorations come out because I kind of want it to be a little bit complete like lighting and stuff like that. But yeah, um, we'll see if I decide to go today. But... I just thought I'd pick the camera up. This is a very unplanned vlog, just to let you know. This is not in my schedule, schedule, whatever you want to call it. Um, so yeah, I've made myself a lovely cup of tea just there. Um, and I've also got a nice big bottle of water because I need to drink more water. Don't we all? But yeah, I don't really like the taste of water. Um, as, as weird as that sounds, it doesn't taste of anything. Hence the reason I don't like it. But yeah, I thought today, we would just pick up the camera. I thought I would show you some of my Christmas decorations I've been picking up. I just thought I'd show you this vlog. I was going to do a whole separate video, but you know what? I'm going to be buying that much this year because I've got like more rooms to decorate. That I thought, do you know what? I can just show bits and bobs in vlogs, you know, and things like that. And I'm just quite excited for Christmas this year. So I'm just excited to show you and I'm just excited to get it done. And it's going up quite soon. Like I'm literally going to be putting my stuff up quite soon. Anyway, I digress. So, I thought I would do that, and then also at some point in this vlog, I'm going to do a bit of a help update. This help update might come as a bit of a shock to a lot of you, because one, I've got a lot of new people on my channel, so hi if you're new, welcome to the channel. Um, but not only that, um, there's, whenever I've mentioned it, I've mentioned it very briefly, like very briefly. So only a few people have caught them videos and caught that on my video, so um, it might come as a bit of a shock that um, anything would be wrong with me, but hey ho, I'm gonna do that in this vlog. Um, but first of all, I think I'm gonna show you a situation I've got at the moment with my front room, and it only happened last night, and now that's why I need to go to the range. Although I'm not sure if I want some out the range. I don't know, let me just show you what I'm talking about. If you're wondering what is different in this living room, it is my rug is gone. So, my rug's gone. And the reason for that is, basically, there was a bit of an accident with my dog. And it turns out it completely ruined the rug and I was not about to keep the rug. So the rug is gone, which is really annoying because, I, like I said before, I'm trying to sort of do the front room up more, you know, add to it, before I get the Christmas decorations out. And that's another expense. So it's great. So yeah, I've got to get a rug like ASAP as well because not only that, it's getting colder and it's like that, that sort of time of year where I like to cozy up in the front room of the night and things like that and it looks really odd in here without the rug. The rug really like lightened up this room. So go get that, which is always fun. Um, so I was looking online actually. I've been looking on Amazon because obviously I want one ASAP. The ones I want on there that have good reviews, um, I'm very particular about things like rugs because I just find that the material might not be the same. So basically, um, I looked on there and the ones that I want are either not in stock or they can't come till forever. So um, I do have Amazon Prime, but obviously some, are not, some things are not on Prime. And also with everything going on at the minute, or everything's a bit funny still. Not, not always. Amazon I'm usually really like good with. It usually still comes next day and stuff, but the, the rugs I'm looking at don't. So then I'm looking on Wayfair. Wayfair's a bit of a dodgy subject, is it not? Um, but 
I don't know, they have nice rugs. And B&M are good as well, but I want a really big rug and I want a particular rug. And they seem to have a lot of coloured rugs. Like I've noticed they have like pinks and all of that and I don't want that. So I might just, go, I'm, t I'm actually talking myself into going shopping now. But yeah, there's a couple of things I need to do for this room. There's me uh, try pulling the mat, don't worry about that. Uh, a couple of things I want to do to this room. I'm just going to update on what I want to do and what I'm going to get done this week. Because obviously decorations are going up really soon so i need to sort my life out so basically if you've probably noticed before i have two lights in here and i've done nothing with them so i want to get obviously light fittings and i want I fa we've taken ages to figure out what light fittings we want and we want something very classic and nice um the issue is like and i didn't want too expensive because we've got to buy two for this room let alone the rest of the house but two for this room and i get fine if i had something really big and bulky there it would take up the room does that make any sense so yeah, I'm going to get two light fittings from there. The ones I want, again, are in the range and are out of stock online. So I'm sure they're going to be in stock in, in store because a lot of things are. So we've got that going on. And then over here, I've said before, I'm going to get a mirror. Again, ignore all this. Just, just ignore that. I'm going to get a mirror. Um, but we want a really nice mirror. Don't get me wrong. Bamra's not focusing. But at the same time, it's an expensive time of year, so we don't really want to spend loads of money. So I've got an idea of what I want, but again, it's in the range and it's out of stock online, so I need to go to the shop. Um, so I want to put something there, it's such a blank wall. This TV will eventually go on the wall, I've said this before, I'm hoping it goes on the wall anyway. That is at the stair wall, plasterboard, and it's really flimsy plasterboard with these new builds. So I'm hoping that will go on the wall, but I do, we need a new TV because that TV is actually broke, it's really annoying. Um, it turns itself on and off, like it's quite old. But yeah, I need to get that um, on the wall because I just think that would fill up that wall because it's very white. And obviously I've got loads to do. And then I want to get my rug again because clearly I don't have a rug anymore. Yeah, that's my little updates of what I want to do and what I want to achieve in the next week or so. So hopefully I get that done. Also there, if you can see, and you've been following my channel, I moved the radiator cover out in that hallway into Isabella's room when I sort of did a little mini transformation. And I actually liked it, so I then kept it there. She did, she said she didn't want me to move it, so I then was didn't have one there, which is where I originally had it. So I've ordered two more because I've got, I, I want to do radiator covers in all the rooms, but obviously um, I just want to try certain rooms first. So the main ones I wanted it for is this hallway here, and then also, just take you around my house now. Why not? It's a vlog at home. Why not? I haven't done this in a while. Also, hello Jerry. This is like his little bed. He always sits, stays at the top of the uh, stairs. It's quite funny. So this radiator here that we have directly at the top of the stairs, I want to get one for here. Well, I have got one coming. It's on its way. Um, this again is white walls and stuff. We have a light fit in there that we need to cover. Um, there's just so much. Like I'm thinking of doing something here for Christmas. That mirror is supposed to be in Isabella's room, but Jonathan keeps using it because we currently don't have a mirror in our room, which we are getting. It's just... You know, it's getting around to doing it all, isn't it? I always have things on my stairs. I need to get one of them baskets so I can put them in so they go straight upstairs. But that, in fact, I don't know what that is. I also need to hoover my stairs. So, yeah, this here is where I'm going to have my radiator cover back. And then, obviously, I have that there. So, now we've done a lovely tour of what I want to do and what I'm sort of stressing about at the minute. Because I stress about stuff like that. Don't know why. I love, I just, do you know what it is? I moved in here in January, absolutely fine. I've done so much already. Do not get me wrong, because I've bought things like beds brand new, like I bought everything again as if I was moving out for the first time. So, it, and it is expensive. But you know when you just, because it's come up to Christmas, when it's Christmas, you kind of want things done. And I always thought that this house would be, not done, it's never done. Your house is never done, you're always changing it. But I thought I would have the majority of what I want for Christmas. And it's getting close to Christmas now, and I don't. So I need to start getting things, but I'm very indecisive as well. So yeah, um, that was literally a 10 minute ramble about what I want to do. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna drink some of my tea now and then I might show you, I'm gonna show you a couple of things that I've got for Christmas. I am doing a Christmas clean and decorate with me, my first time in my new house and first time ever, cause I only put my tree up last year. Um, and it was a last minute thing, by the way, last year when I put that up because I was supposed to be moving in the 4th of December and then because the exchange date changed because it's near Christmas, I then ended up putting up my Christmas tree and it was all a madness. But this year, 
I'm decorating quite a few of the rooms. I've been planning this since last year. I've been planning to be decorating this house since last year. I think this house is such a Christmas house. I say it to my mother-in-law all the time. We talk about it all the time. This is a Christmas house. I just imagine the Christmas decorations outside, on the front. I've never been able to do that even remember. I've never had a house. I had a flat before. So I can actually have like a reef. Like obviously in a flat you can have a reef, but I just think I can do more here, you know? So I'm really excited about it. Um, and with the year that we've had, it's come at a good time that I'm excited about something. And, and yeah, that's it really. So I'm gonna show you some of my decorations in this vlog. I'm gonna have a cup of tea first and then I'll show you, and then I'll do the um, health update. So yeah. Okay, let's do the health update. So, I've been quite nervous to actually do this health update because this is not a um, feel sorry for me type of health update. I never thought I would actually talk about it on my channel. Um, I have previously, I mean, I never thought I was like, Date it as a real health update, if you like. But here we are. Um, reason being as well is it is quite a big part of my life, and um, I just want you to sort of know a little bit more about my life, if you like, so you can understand maybe more things that might happen in the future and stuff like that. Um, not only that, um, I thought that this might help somebody, somebody who is going through something at the moment. I get a lot of people that come in and tell me that I'm inspiring them and I'm motivating them and I'm helping them. Okay, I didn't realise I was going to cry. Um, okay, hold on. Sorry, um, the reason why I'm crying is because that makes me feel really happy when I comment back and I reply and I say, you know, that... Um, I'm so glad, I mean it, um, because, you know, the world is a bit of a funny place at the minute, um, people suffer with anxiety, everyone suffers with anxiety right now, um, people have health conditions that are not getting sorted um, because of other reasons, um, so I'm glad that my channel's helping a little bit, whether it's just helping you to get up and clean, or whatever, um, or distracting you, which is why I never wanted to do like a health update like this. I never wanted to cry, for goodness sake, Siobhan. Um, but I just wanted it to be a bit, I just want to tell you, sort of, without sounding like I'm talking about me, 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 I want you to know that I am, you're not alone. And um, there is a lot of people that suffer with things all the time. And basically, I'm just trying to see if someone will reach out if they want to because my inbox is always open on in Instagram. So, without all that being said, here we go. Um, so, there's a bit of a backstory of this, and I'm not going to talk about it for too much on this particular video, because if you want one, I might do a whole video dedicated to it, but I don't really want to, if I'm honest, because I do and I don't. I want to because someone might be able to find it who has the same problem, and that might help them, or... Uh, but I don't at the same time because it is quite a negative thing to do and I don't like doing negativity on this channel. Even if it's real life, I still don't like to be negative. There's a positive in every situation and that's not me preaching. That's the way I look at life. So, basically, long story short, three years ago, um, when I, just just before my 27th birthday, um. I was going out for my birthday and I've become quite poorly. Um, I basically, I'm going to say this quite quickly. I went to hospital, I got admitted. I was in my in for my birthday. Um, yeah, I was in hospital for my birthday and um, I had temperature, like I was really bad poorly and it wasn't blue or anything and all of that. Anyway, um, they couldn't find out what was wrong with me. Um, in hindsight now I know, but you know, it's a bit of a difficult one. And long story short, six months later, I ended up back in hospital with a similar thing. Um, and again, I was in for five days. So the first time I was in for three, four days. And then the second time I was in for five days. Um, and yeah, so when I went in the second time, it was like for January. So that was like the April. No, it was six months later. So it was anyway, I went in hospital and they couldn't find out what was wrong with me. And uh, even accused me of having the flu. <laughs> I say accused me because obviously I knew what the flu was and... Yeah, 
Oh, well, you had the surgeon come around. We had everyone come around and see me. In the end, they done an ultrasound and um, they found something. Uh, so they come around. They was about to discharge me that day, and they found something that was quite important. So the doctor came round and he sat down and he said, "You know, okay, am I actually ready to talk about this?" So he sat down and he said, you know, um, we have found that you may have um, polycystic kidney disease. Now, when he said that to me, I have no idea what that was. But when I heard kidney disease, I obviously thought, wow, that's a bit, that's a bit much. Um, so anyway, I, I, I thought, okay, fine. He said, I'm going to refer you for you to be like checked out to see if you need to be diagnosed, blah, blah, blah. It went on all like that anyway. Um, people around me were all sort of being thingy with me because they'd obviously researched it and I hadn't. Um, anyway, I researched it and I was quite poorly and all of this blah, blah, blah. Um, fast forward to a few months after that and I was referred um, to a renal consultant and he did a CT scan and he confirmed that I had polycystic kidney disease. So it's a bit of a tough one. I was worried about it. There's a long thing with it. It's not just your kidneys that affects. Um, there's a lot to it. Anyway, fast forward to this March 2020. I had a bit of hope um, because I went to see a different consultant, not on purpose. I just happened to see a different consultant at the time. And he said that, you know, you haven't progressed any further in like the three years you should have done. Um, your kidney function is fine and things like that. Like it's on the brisk. It's okay. Blah, blah, blah. And yeah, basically he said, you know, you could have something else that basically isn't as life threatening. So I was like, fine, that's great. Then lockdown happened. <laughs> and he obviously sent me for an MRI to deal with this, but obviously I couldn't have it. So then I ended up having an MRI in July and I did say on Instagram that I had the MRI. And by the way, MRIs are fine. Like, I don't know why people say that they're scary. So basically then I had the MRI and then my appointment wasn't until October, which was yesterday. And so I went there, um, went on my own, and normally my mum comes with me, and um, they said, from the MRI, it's the best scan we have, um, We, I'm going to confirm that you definitely have polycystic kidney disease. So that was a bit much, <laughs> sorry. So that was a bit much um, because I was obviously forgot about it for a long time because there was a hope. Um, and then basically um, he said, you know, I've got cysts on my liver and all of that too. He then went in to say, which I knew about anyway, that, you know, all of the risks, the risks and all of that that is involved in um, the disease. And basically the biggest worry you've got when you have something like polycystic kidney disease is the fact that you get a high blood pressure and they need to control that because... You're, I don't know the exact, well, I do know the statistics, but basically you are quite a lot of times more likely to get, have, just because I know you have heart attack, stroke, um, and brain aneurysms and things like that. Um, I suffer with migraines um, quite a lot. Again, nobody knows that. Um, and I have done in, in the last few weeks. So obviously when that happens, they get worried about it and they want to look into it and do a brain scan. Now I've already had a brain scan two years ago and I didn't have an aneurysm, but obviously these things can happen. And yeah, so basically in a nutshell, I have polycystic kidney disease. Um, and again, I didn't want to talk about it that much. I can't believe I cried. I'm really annoyed at myself. Um, but that's reality because you can cry, you know, it's the same, isn't it? It's okay not to be okay. And I just wanted to sort of lay myself bare, if you like, and be raw and real with you all because I think the way the world is now, you need to talk about your emotions, you need to talk about, talk to someone if you're not feeling right, if your mental health is not right, if you've just been diagnosed with something, if you've been diagnosed for years with something, you know, there's always support groups out there for every single thing, like with mental health Um and all of that. When I first got diagnosed with PKD, which is polycystic kidney disease, I reached out on Facebook. There was a group on there with people like me. Um, and it was nice because not I had all my family and friends, but none of them understood. They knew as much as I did. 
And so it was nice to talk to someone who had the same feelings as me and the same worries as me because it's all well and good when your family are around you and they're like, you know, we're there for you and all of that. And I know that. But obviously they don't have the same feelings as me. Like they don't have to worry. They worry, obviously, but they don't have the same feelings as you. So it's nice to reach out to, especially a stranger as well. It's actually really good to to reach out to a stranger. That's why I'm saying reach out to me if you need to. Um because it's sometimes easier. So yeah, um, that is my health update. I am really sorry I cried. I didn't think I was gonna, I've been dreading doing a health update. And when I say dreading, I, I don't mean I'm forced to do this. I have been asked to update on what it was that was wrong with me. Um, and I was happy to do that because again, I want people to, to you know, someone might relate. You might some you might be looking at my channel now, and you might have just been diagnosed with polycystic kidney disease and have no idea. Because let me tell you, when I got diagnosed with that, I was so scared. It was so scary. Um, you know, someone saying you have a kidney disease. You know, someone saying things like that. And I don't want to be negative about it, and I'm not negative about it because life expectancy for something that I've got can be quite harsh, but it can also be quite good. Um, so you know. I've just got to watch my diet and all of that and also drink more water. So I am. Um, so basically, I'm going to change my lifestyle. I don't use all know this probably if you've seen my channel before. Um, I don't eat very well. Sometimes I skip meals. And if I don't skip meals, then I just eat rubbish. So I need to change that because there's also certain there's a certain diet I'm supposed to follow. Um, not supposed to, I don't have to, but obviously it will help my kidneys. Um, to, to last longer um, oh and also a backstory if you want to know about polycystic kidney disease you can even google it um, it'll come up with a coral picture just to let you know um, but basically it means that both of your kidneys have lots and lots a lot of cysts on them that's why it's polycystic because it's multiple cysts on both of them they are also enlarged and they sort of grow with time and things like that and um the liver gets affected and obviously your organs and stuff so it's just a bit of annoying it really is annoying but it's fine and um I've got through worse believe it or not so I'm I'm fine so please do not think that this is me saying please feel sorry for me because I'm definitely not I'm very ask anybody that knows me I'm not one to be like can you feel sorry for me um I also didn't want this it doesn't define me I may have a problem, or I don't like to say illness because I don't, in my opinion. Um, but if, for example, you have an illness or anything like that, it doesn't define you. It's not you. You are you. You can achieve anything in your life. I've known about this for three years. I've known about this. I got diagnosed with this before, way before I started YouTube. And, um, you know, I've come on YouTube and I've done what I wanted to because you can do and be whatever you want. I've said this so many times on my channel. Um, don't let anything beat you. Don't let anything beat you. Um, because it won't. Um, you can keep going. You know, I bought a house. And, and that's another thing that this is another thing. Um, I actually got to the point where that had to happen in my life, that I in my life sort of kind of flashed before my eyes. And I thought, you know what, I want a house, I want a house for my children, I'm gonna get a house for my children, I've got to work hard, and they're gonna have what, what I want them to have, and that's exactly what I did. So it all got pushed forward very quickly um, and I'm very grateful for my life. I'm very grateful for the health that I have today, um, as in I'm healthy today. And yeah, just health is wealth. If 2020 hasn't taught you anything, health is wealth. Because if health, you don't have your health, clearly the world doesn't. The world don't go round. So they say money makes the world go round, but it's actually health. So just remember that and bear that in mind. So anyway, that's a bit of a... Oh, I can't believe I've just done that, but um, yeah, I just wanted to update you, be real with you, be raw, and if you need to reach out to anyone, please do, inbox me on Instagram, it's inbox, no, it's not even inbox, I'm so old, it's DM, DM me, yeah, um, so yeah, do that, um, but I'm going to cheer myself up now, because, you know, life's not about that, so I'm going to make a cake, well, I say I'm going to make a cake, I'm going to make this school cake thing, like I said for my mum, I might do that, I might not. I think I'm going to do that. I want to show you some Christmas decorations. Let me show you Christmas decorations first. So, a bit more of a cheerio note. I thought I'd show you a couple of things that I picked up from B&M. 
and a couple of things. Yeah, no, B&M and this other thing that I want to show you for Christmas decorations. I'm not going to show you everything I've got right now because I'm going to do a separate video because I feel like this isn't an appropriate video to be showing lots of Christmas stuff. But to cheer me up and hopefully cheer you up after watching that little bit of a sob story, <laughs> um, I thought I would show you some stuff and the ideas I have for my Christmas decorations this year. So let me show you. How stunning are these? So I've got this Santa, pink Santa. I've got this from B&M. It's £15. I've been dying to show you this for so long. Um, and I also got um, this Nutcracker, and it's like a rose goldy sort of colour. So that was £10. And I also got this in Wilco's, if you remember when I did the shop with me. Um, this was only £2. And I'm yet to go back and get more because I still didn't get more. But I have an idea for these, but if not, this will be the theme for Isabella's room. Do you see the theme I'm going for? Well, I'm hoping it will. I might end up deciding to put this somewhere else. But this is the idea I've got because I've got themes for the kids' bedrooms. I just need to get the rest of the stuff for them. But I love what I've got there. And then I really wanted to show you these bad boys. So these are for the outside of my house. And it's really hard to show you because the lighting's coming in and I can't move them very much. But they're not like the full ones. They're like half ones. They sort of stick in the ground with that metal thing there. And they are free reindeer. Um, and yeah, I absolutely love them. They light up. So I'll quickly show you them lit up. But these were a really good bargain. I got them on that studio. It's Studio 24. Um, and they were only $49.99 for all of these. And even though they're not like the full ones, they still give the effect that I want for the outside. Um, so yeah, I love them. Um, but let me show you them lit up. Obviously, you can't really see them properly because of the lighting in here. I'm sorry about that. But you get the idea and you're going to see them when I put them up in my decorate with me anyway. But yeah, how gorgeous are those? They are so pretty. So I'm really happy with those. So yeah, I just thought I would show you a couple of Christmas bits. Like I said, I, I think I'm going to leave that for a different video because I think it's just appropriate if I do that for a separate video. I've got my makeup everywhere now. Great. But I'm sorry if this video was all over the place, this vlog. Um, I just wanted to sort of be a bit real and a bit raw um, because that's my week this week. That's how I'm feeling. And it I would feel quite wrong to come on and just act like I'm fine because it's absolutely fine not to be fine. So it's okay not to be okay in that saying. So the lighting's going to absolutely ruin my face. So yeah, so the kid, Jonathan's just gone to get the kids um, from school, so I'm looking forward to them coming back. My cat's meowing like something else, and I'm think I'm going to end the vlog here. So it's a bit weird to say if you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up, but giving it a thumbs up does help my video, and it might also help somebody who may need to listen to what I've said in my video today, like about reaching out and someone who may have a similar situation to me. Um, so I would love it if you did give it a big thumbs up. Um, subscribe if you're new. I don't normally cry on my videos. I'm normally very motivational and all of that. We do shopping on this channel. We do all sorts of good stuff. Um, today was just a real raw style vlog. So yeah, I hope it wasn't too triggering or anything like that either. Um, and yeah, I hope that you're well. Um, like I said, follow me on Instagram and send me a DM. Um, if you need to chat to anyone, I'm always here for anybody who needs to talk. I hope you all have a lovely week. Bye.